Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial as you know that we have successfully completed the private chat section and also we have added a successful uh, smooth scroll. Okay, so now whenever a user, uh, uh, I mean receive a new message or you can say send a message to someone then it will first display us uh, the new message. That is let's say I'm going to type here, let's say hello again, again. Okay, and if I click on send, and here you can see it shows us uh, the new message first okay so yeah everything is working fine I mean uh, the private chat section is completed successfully now what we are going to do is that from this tutorial onward we are going to start work on the uh, push notifications so whenever a user uh, receive a new chat uh, request that is let's say Sarah wants to connect with you then the receiver that is let's say as you know that I am now logged in by my own account so I should receive the request from this user which is Sarah and Peter Parker that is both of these user wants to connect with you so we will be using the Firebase push notification for that and also first of all go to the Android studio and let's start working on that so here we have our uh, profile activity open that and on our profile activity when we say here that is the when we send the uh, chat request basically if I scroll down then here you can see send chat request method so here we need to basically we are going to create a new node inside our uh, real-time database for handling the notification system okay so then we can recognize the user that is from whom we are going to receive the request so here we can say if task dot is successful then what we are going to do is create a hash map string comma string let's give it a name as chat notification equals to new hash map and for the notification we are going to save some data inside that so the first one will be from whom we are going to receive that so it will be from the object will be from and we should pass the sender user ID so from sender you will receive okay and let's copy paste this the type okay second one will be type and the type will be request okay that is uh, the chat request or you can say the friend request now we need to uh, create a notification reference okay so let's come here above and here we can create another uh, database reference by the name notification ref which means reference and here in our own create method let's copy paste this and we will change it for the uh, notification so pass that and let's change this to notification reference and uh, name for this will be notifications now come down here and here in our send chat request we left here so here we can say now notification ref dot child receiver user id dot push because uh, we have to give it random key which will be unique for each notification so that no notification any notification will never be replaced with each other dot set value and pass the short chat uh, notification to it let's give it a proper name that is uh, chat notification map and then replace this with this one and also here dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here first and now what we are going to do here we can simply say if the task is successful then we will do something and that will be cut this send message request construct and these three line of code from here control x and pass that inside this if task is successful so yeah that's it and now we will uh, test our app but before we do that what we are gonna do is to get the device token so you know that every mobile phone has its own uh, device token or you can say device ID 
so by using that id we will send the notification so how we can do that so first of all go to the, uh, go to the login activity and uh, here we have this login activity so whenever if a user has already created an account so first he must uh, log out uh, that is i mean whenever a user login into his account then it should update the device token that is on which mobile phone he is going to use this app or you can say log on uh, log in into his app or sign in into his app so here you can see we have this private wide allow user to log in method and here we have this code which is send user to main activity so first of all here we can say first we will uh, get the current user id first let me check if we have created the firebase auth so first let create the uh, firebase auth only by that where we can get the current user so it will be mauth and we have already created that here okay so remove this i'm sorry for that so mauth okay and now here we can simply say equals to mauth dot get current user dot get uid so first we have to get the current user id and then we will uh, create a string variable for getting the device token and here we can say firebase instance id dot get instance dot get token so in this way we get the device token and we store it inside the string type variable now the next thing is to store it inside the user's node uh, where uh, the user information available if i show you here we have the user node and for each user we have stored some information so now uh, whenever the user create a new account or let's say if he log in into his app uh, by their mobile phones then here uh, the device token will be updated or you can say added here okay so yeah let's do that so first let's check if we have created a user ref so we need to create a database reference okay so here we can say private database reference and let's give it a name as users ref and now here we can say users ref firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child is our users not and now come down and here we can simply say users ref dot child and we have to pass this current user id dot child device so the name of that will be a device token so let's give it a name which will be device underscore token dot set value and the value is stored inside this device token variable dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first so here we can say if task dot is successful then we can cut this code from here and we will send the user to the next activity if he is going to log in and the same process we will now repeat on the register activity if uh, someone is going to create a new account so we have already the firebase auth here okay and we have created a root ref which is basically up to our database okay the root reference so what i am going to do here as you know uh, all these things are added in the previous tutorial okay so there is no need to create another reference for the user not we will update it so first of all uh, what i am going to do uh, here uh, i can simply get the device token so you can say string let's copy paste this line of code from here okay which is device token copy this and paste that here and here you can see we are already uh, get the current user id in the previous video tutorial at the very first video tutorials i hope you remember that okay so there is no need to write the code again for it to get the current user id by using the root ref dot child and we have a child by the name users dot child we can now pass the current user id dot child and here we need to pass the same object name which is our uh, this one okay device token so pass that here dot 
set value and the value is stored inside the device token so put a semicolon here and if you want you can add a add on complete listener to that also so yeah everything is okay now and now let's test the app so our app is running now successfully and now let's log out first and we will check the device token okay so I'm going to log in by my own account which is UX okay Muhammad Ali and let me write my email and now let's log in and here we go you can see the device token is added successfully and for each device there will be a unique uh, device token okay so it is working perfect and this is uh, device token now we have to check the notifications so uh, to see either if it is working or not so go to define friends and let's check to whom we should send okay this is already this user has we have sent a uh, chat request to that already okay so now let's remove this contact first okay and now i'm going to send her a chat request and here we go chat request notification so if i open this here you can see this is perfect okay from uxa at that is from me she is receiving a, a chat request if i open this account this is this one okay which is a result for okay here you can see this so i mean this is amazing this is perfect everything is working fine so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now